do, you gotta have passion for it. We're not just doing it to do it. You gotta believe in what you do. Faith and hard work has pushed Bill Fussard to accomplish some lofty goals in his life. He'll come back. 2021 will mark Fussard's 21st year in business. Like many, it's been a difficult year. Seeing his staff of 200 in summer down to 25 as he endured a second shutdown over the holidays. You know, we're very we're blessed to have the customers that we do, and we thank every, one, every single one of them when they're coming in, because it all adds up. Even as businesses are struggling, some closing, he remains eternally optimistic that big things are just around the corner. It's yeah. coming though, I can feel it. Fusard's vision in 2015 to start a community foundation has helped many weather the COVID storm. And at the foundation's inception, some were skeptical, but his belief was steadfast. I remember the first goal saying we need to raise a million dollars. She was saying, all right, Bill, we did. And now, you know, $5 million has been raised, it stays here. It benefits the Greater White Bear Lake area. He recently stepped down as chair of the Greater White Bear Lake Community Foundation, toasted by well-wishers on Zoom. Fussard says he's thankful to have played a role, but is quick to give credit to others. I thought it was t touching. I mean, just the whole, <laughs> people are so kind. You know, it's a team effort, all the stuff that we do. It's not one person, it's a team. And we're blessed. We're blessed with wonderful people around us. The foundation awarded more than $50,000 in grants to 21 organizations in 2020, all local. It keeps some money here in White Bear Lake. It Sard keeps... says he's stepping down to keep things moving forward. And like his philosophy, he seems to be in perpetual motion, adapting to change and rising to challenges. Next year we'll be able to bring them back. Just those little touches in the rooms that make it yeah. so local. He's added takeout and curbside pickup during the shutdown and was able to open the rooftop, dropping the bear in annual tradition on New Year's Eve. Rooftop, we just put everything away because we had all the tables on, you know, um, set up for our New Year's Eve. He was featured in a Wall Street Journal piece for renting rooms by the day to families in need of workspace, the result of reduced occupancy worldwide due to reduced travel. When the mom and dad are working, the kids are going nuts in the house, get a hotel room, so we had a day rate. The Country Inn houses an event center where small group trainings are held, while larger celebrations like weddings and funerals have been on hold because of COVID. So this room that normally holds 250 people, we're meeting Lake States in here right now. Uh -oh. Just doing a big asbestos training for five people. Fussard has also been forward thinking when it comes to safety, installing a UV light filtration system in Rudy's and the Country Inn, taking extra safety precautions, not just for customers, but his longtime staff, hoping to welcome them back when business resumes. You gotta get everybody back here. Get those doors open. Keep them open.